So a couple of days ago, I consulted with a client that's interested in relocating here to Thailand. A little bit about his background. He's a single father with a five-year-old daughter, and that's his main concern was trying to find proper international schools here in Thailand for his five-year-old daughter, whether it's going to be in Bangkok, Pattaya, or Phuket. So pretty much I filled him everything that I knew about international schools and the inner workings of it through campus visitations, through parents that have their kids in the international school system. And I thought to myself, I haven't really made any videos talking about international schools here in Thailand. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you my knowledge of international schools here in Thailand, just so you guys know what's going on and, you know, kind of some of my personal thoughts. Some people may like this video. Some people can be maybe pissed off, but I'm just going to share with you guys everything I know and you guys decide your opinions on whether you want to send your kids here, whatever, that's your decision. But the first point I do want to mention is that international schools here in Thailand, that shit ain't cheap. It's going to be ranging around from 300,000 Thai baht, so it's currently around $8,500 US, all the way up to 1.5 million Thai baht for some of the more top three prestigious international schools. So I think that's currently around 43,000 US dollars. Yikes. Budget, your kid's tuition, according to that, and just go from there. Now, my second point, there is an admission slash eligibility slash entrance exam that your son or daughter may need to take. So just because you apply to an international school doesn't mean that you're gonna be, your kid's gonna get accepted immediately. They do have to take an entrance exam to determine eligibility. I've heard cases where moms would be crying uh, near the administrative office because their son or daughter didn't get to the international school of choice that they wanted to get into. So keep that in mind. There is an entrance exam. Uh, they won't just accept anyone. My third point, one thing you also need to keep in mind is that a lot of these international schools, the majority of them have a marketing department to advertise and to maintain their face, their reputation, their prestige. And a lot of these international schools are for profit. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. They're here to make money. Now, my fourth point, international schools here in Thailand, they either teach the American or the British curriculum. Obviously, I'm going to be biased. So for my imaginary son or daughter, they'll be learning the American curriculum because that's how I was brought up. Now, my fifth point can be a bit of a sensitive topic. A lot of the international schools, so let's say if you're applying to be a teacher at whatever dream international school that you want to go to, they generally would want to lean towards Western looking teachers for their international schools because, you know, uh, man, I'm just going to say it. A lot of Thai families, they equate Western looking teachers as having an advantage towards, let's say, Asian looking teachers or black looking teachers. Even if, let's say, for example, an Asian teacher was raised in the United States, was born and raised and educated in the United States and Canada and UK, and decided to go over and teach at an international school in Thailand. Generally, somebody that's Western looking is gonna have more of an advantage towards Asian looking teachers or black looking teachers or black teachers. Uh, yeah, so I don't think anybody's gonna talk about that, but it is what it is. A lot of international schools do operate like this. My sixth point, when you're looking for international schools, there is an accreditation. So I'm gonna put it right here on the screen uh, make sure when you're doing your research on international schools, make sure they're accredited. Now, my seventh point, international schools in Thailand need to maintain a student quota. So the majority of international schools here are either 51% foreign students versus 49% Thai students. It really depends on the school. There is a quota of how many foreign students and how many Thai students are accepted into the international school. Now, my eighth point is gonna be location. So we'll take Bangkok, for example. The majority of international schools are gonna be further out away from the main city center of Bangkok. It's not uncommon if kids will be commuting one way fur further out north of Bangkok to attend international school all the way to like, I don't know, let's say in Patum Patum Thani, which is maybe an hour, two hours north of Bangkok or further out east all the way over to Bangna to attend international schools. They're not within the main city center, they're further out. Uh, so just keep that in mind that when you're picking where you're gonna live, the location of international schools, the majority of them are not near the city center of Bangkok. Now, my ninth point is parent visas. Let's say your son or daughter gets accepted uh, into their international school of choice. 
then the school will assist parents with obtaining a parent visa since your son or daughter is attending an international school. And it's usually a one for one. So one parent visa per student. Now my 10th and final point uh, that you guys need to keep in mind when it comes to sending your son or daughter to international schools, and this may be kind of a touchy subject, uh, but keep this in mind is that, uh, man, I don't know how I'm gonna say this. Fuck it, I'm just gonna say it anyways. So international schools here in Thailand will walk a fine line and a lot of times will bend the rules towards parents because a lot of the parents come from, you know, high reputation and high social clout and they would want their kid to have every single advantage so they can get into the top Ivy League schools or schools in the UK or in Australia. A lot of parents will try to put pressure on schools for them to bend their curriculum just so their kid will have an advantage no matter what. I've heard stories of cases where a lot of school teachers would quit because schools would literally bend the rules and curriculums towards these parents. And the thing is, let's say if you were to say no and you will not bend towards these specific group of parents, then these parents will gather in groups and pull their kids out from that international school and place them towards another international school, another direct competitor. And therefore making that first international school lose out on a lot of tuition money because these parents will band together to pull their kids out because their demands aren't being met. Schools will say no towards bending the rules for them. These are some things that you gotta keep in mind when it comes to sending your son or daughter to international schools. International schools are great. They provide great education. They foster a great environment to raise your children, great teachers, wonderful amenities, but you know, nothing is perfect. And these are some things that you should consider and that you should keep in mind when it comes to sending your kids to these international schools. It's not always picture perfect. Uh, it's another whole ecosystem. It's another interesting subculture here in Thailand, the international school subculture of Thailand. And these are some things that you need to be wary about. Hopefully you found this video educational. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, leave it all in the comments down below about your guys' experiences of international schools. If you guys are parents, that I have kids already enrolled in international schools here in Thailand. Anything that I'm missing, uh, let me go. Let me know what you guys think. You know about the education, the curriculum, the subculture, sometimes the craziness of international schools. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and yeah, thanks for supporting the channel and love me, love each and every one of you guys. Bah, can't even talk. See you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. Peace.